Welcome everyone! Welcome to a new Let's Play! This is Metal Canyon and we'll be playing Frontier Pilot Simulator. You might remember I did a preview a while ago and then another preview. And since it's been a while again, I've decided to actually do sort of a Let's Play of this game. Despite the fact that there is a real possibility we'll lose our save game because this game is still in alpha version in development and uh, so on. So anyway, without further ado, I can waffle where we actually play. Let's start a new game. We'll start from the very beginning with the smallest ship and uh, then, you know, keep going, buy bigger stuff, buy more equipment and so on. <coughs> but um, I hope I make... Yeah, I will be playing this with a controller. I think that is by far the best option. Let's just go through this. We don't... I already know all this. This is by far the best option uh, I feel for this game. I've heard bad stuff about using a joystick. Even though I do have a joystick, it's just more convenient to just plug in a controller and do this. This is the Flight Control Center speaking. Welcome to Aslan, the galaxy's most promising colony. So there's a few reasons why I've decided to make a let's play of this. One, uh, the biggest reason is this game is just a lot of fun. We are pleased to announce that your first customer is waiting your arrival uh, at the spaceport. Flight A to transfer on board. Okay, so we already should have, yeah, destination point. There we go. So, um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. I love this game to bits. I think it's brilliant. Uh, I think the flight model is brilliant. I in fact, I haven't played it in a long while, and now that I've come back to it, I've decided uh, to let's play this. And I've realized that the flight model has been reworked and it's much, much nicer now, actually. It's much more controllable, possibly more realistic, I don't know. Uh, anyway, they've added this overhead view and so on, which is very nice. And again, this is a simulator, this is not an arcade game, so you, you know, you've got damage, you've got to be careful how you fly and so on and so forth. I, uh, for some reason, cannot change the... Okay, great, you've arrived. My name is Palm. I'm the director of a Greenway. We provide assistance for customs and related logistics. I have a job for you. But first, align your ship with the markings on the landing zone. Alright, so let's taxi. There we go. Open the trade interface and buy some food. Rations sell better than hotcakes in the colonies. You'll make some more money and I can report the job is done. It's a win-win situation. Alright, let's... They've also improved this uh, menu here much, much better than before. So let's buy the rations. Let's also recharge. I love the effect. Look at that. We barely had to recharge here, of course, but... Alright, let's wait for this to load. Anyway, yeah, the game is a lot of fun. They've updated a lot of stuff since I last played. Let's set this for the most profitable base. I love the fact that you can do this now, and let's go there. Uh, the second reason I've decided to do this... Okay, now we go to Central. It's a biofactory engaged in terraforming, spraying bacteria and all that. In general, a lot of people and they all want to eat. Uh, secondly, I I have some pretty strong feelings about the development team, as in good feelings. Uh, I don't know any of them personally, but I felt horrifically bad when I did a preview of this game when it went on Kickstarter and they didn't make their Kickstarter uh, goal. They didn't make it. There just wasn't enough exposure, I think. And, you know, me being a tiny channel that nobody watches, it just wasn't enough. There were other people doing it, but, you know, it just wasn't enough. And I, I felt horrible. I was sad because it's just... Oh, yeah, I have to remember. I have... We're a bit heavy now. It's only one ton of rations, but in this game, with a, with this starting engine, uh, you got to be careful because you're, you're like a whale at this point. Um... So, I feel as much exposure that they can get, uh, I would like to do that, because despite not making their Kickstarter, they are still doing regular updates. Right here, let's sell this. They're doing regular updates, they're, they're adding stuff to the game, they're improving it, fixing stuff, and I just do not want them to stop, because once you start playing this, it is so much fun. All right, let's get some empty batteries. It's only half a ton, <coughs> thereabouts. Let's also recharge. There we go. Um, and the third reason is I just thought it would be an interesting let's play. 
a little bit different to what we do usually. And since I'm doing American Truck Simulator and such, I think that would be quite cool. The first priority cargo is accepted. I understand you're a friend of Mr. Palm. Great. It's not as bad as a Evoir, but rations are in great demand here. Bring more rations and we'll buy them for a great price. Uh, what was that about Evoir? Well, Evoir is another mining colony planet. They're practically our neighbors, less than a week away in, uh, on a cargo spaceway. There were reports that something strange happened there, and then a famine began. Yeah, something you have to remember about this game... Oh yeah, wait a second, where are we going? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, how do I do it? Oh yeah. MTG batteries. No, I don't want to unload. By the way, you may trade on your own without special orders. Every base constantly produces and buys a number of goods. And quartermasters regularly replenish lists of available and needed goods, which you can check in your ship's interface. Um, uh, wait, I forgot. How do I... There we go. Set nearest cargo, set most profitable route. There. That's what I was looking for. You gotta, you gotta understand something. Uh, the developers are not native English speakers, and it does show fairly heavily throughout the game. It's, it's not horrible. It's not really jarring, but sometimes it's like, mm, yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. I'm gonna take you where you want to go. Just don't talk, because you're not good at it. Uh, so uh, English is not its strong point. However, you know, this is still alpha version with a bit of proofreading and such. Uh, it could be quite fun. Um, there's also some voice acting in the game. Some of it is a bit hit and miss. A lot of it is quite nice. Uh, I would like more of it. I could do voice acting for them. <coughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Uh, that would be fun. There we go. Let's land here gently. Now, using a controller is you have the shoulder buttons which is extremely helpful because you can uh, because you can set your throttle very quickly and and you know exactly how much you want. Uh, let's see. Let's recharge. And there's a, just a cargo box lying over there. Let's go pick it up. What is, what is that doing over there? And unfortunately, these uh, aircraft are not quite as maneuverable on the ground <laughs> as they are in the air. Right, what is that? B2 rations for free! Thank you very much! Right now it doesn't seem to matter if you pick stuff like that up. If nobody wants it, it's yours for the taking! Alright... Wait... Well, I have the cargo. Oh yeah, I have to go to Scarab, there we go, and set most profitable cargo, I think. Alright, so now, right now we're just going through through these two spaceports. Well, well not really spaceports. Ports, I guess. Landing pads. Uh, but we'll get more stuff, and this island is just the tiny beginning island. Later on, we'll actually go to across the ocean to a much larger island, and no, there's no loading screen. We'll actually fly there, which is pretty darn cool if you ask me. The graphics have improved quite a bit from, I don't know, a year or two ago when I first did the preview. They added a lot of little details. They're still adding stuff. They're adding a lot of uh, props and such to all the bases, as you can see. And like I said, they've, they've reworked the flight model. I think it's a little easier to play now, but it's a lot, more, uh, it's a lot nicer. I, I'm not sure how the larger vessels will uh, work. But you can see there on the right, I've got two bars, and the one that's jumping up and down now, that's my throttle. And it, the screen might look quite busy, but once you understand what everything means, it's actually quite useful. Alright, so let's... Uh oh yeah, someone was talking. There. Unfortunately, they've got no cargo available here, but we do have a passenger over there, so let's taxi over there. Captain, I urgently have to get to north. Just imagine, their atomizer contour is completely hammered. In short, easy money. I've got 1500 credits for you to take me here. Uh, there. Alright, let's, uh, let's get you. Alright, we're gonna stop here. Let him get on board. That's, that's gonna be done automatically before you have to actually open the hatch. 
or the loading ramp, but now it happens automatically. I mean, let's go to north. Yeah. I love this game to bits. It's so much fun flying these things, especially when you're loaded. You can very easily find yourself in uh, dire straits. Ooh, I gotta be careful about those geysers. Uh, you got you have d you have systems that can get damaged. Uh, let me see if I can show you there on the left, lower left. We got hull, engine, wing, battery, radar, hull, chassis, and so on, and uh, all of it can get damaged and will affect how your ship behaves or what it does, and so on and so forth. So over there, oh, over there on the very right, we've got our altimeter. Uh, it's not an altimeter to ground, it's an altimeter to... there. It, but there's the one to ground that's creeping up. But on the very right, 500 meters, that's above sea level. And the little orange bar, not the big one, but the little orange bar is our rate of descent and ascent. And that can... that's really useful because you know how fast you're descending or ascending in bad weather especially. There we go. Looks like it's the right place. May I go out? Yes. How much is it gonna pay us? 1500, like you said. Excellent. Usually they'd pay you a lot less. Thank you, Captain. Take 1500 credits and I have to go. Uh, Alright, let's, let's go land at this place. I love the sound effects. And I absolutely adore the music in this game. It has a very... very Firefly-esque feel to it. Very much so. I just wish you could make it louder. Because for some reason, even though everything is on maximum, this game's sound level is very, very low. Now, while I'm playing that myself on speakers, that's fine. I can just, you know, turn it up. But, uh, you know, turn up the radio. Oh, no. Copyright strike. Um, but it's, it's so nice. I love the Firefly-esque feel. Because, like I said, this is a frontier. You know, you're a pilot on a frontier. So that's quite uh, appropriate, I would say. I've got some empty G-type batteries. Uh, it's not really what I'm looking for. Let's see. I don't like flying empty, though, because, of course, that's just wasting money. But what do these guys have? They need G-type batteries, biolocators, object, FSN 41841, whatever that is. They've also got a passenger there. These guys also just need stuff. Aslan Center has B2 rations. That's really what I want. So we're gonna go there empty. Because otherwise, with the empty batteries, we would need to uh, bring them to Aslan 1, I believe. Alright, so... There we go. <laughs> Man, those sounds. And of course, when you buy a different... Whoa! This is weird. That is some weird graphical stuff. When you buy new ships... Uh, or new engines and such, they all have their own... Well, I don't know if they all have their own sounds, but they do have different sounds. Can I...? No, that's that. Where's it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's the...? I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find the wind... I don't know what it is. Wind radar? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. We gotta be careful I don't descend too far. It's getting it's night time almost. Yeah, there is now a night and day transition. But I think it's way too short. And I would like to have some lights as well. Which would be quite useful. Uh the gears come down and up automatically, by the way. Bit of a rough landing, but oh well. Gotta wait for the engines to shut up before I actually do any maneuvering. Uh, wait, what? Oh no, they want rations here. <sighs> See. Uh, reading comprehension, zero. Metal Canyon. Do they have anything here? How much do we have? We've got 13,000. There's no passengers available. Oh well. Let's go to Aslan. Those guys have ships available, they've got upgrades available, and rations. So we're going there. Alright. So in the very lower left corner you can see our battery charge. We only have 850 units of battery for this ship, which is plenty for short trips. It's a light ship, and uh, it only really starts eating into your battery if you go above uh, one ton of cargo. It also becomes quite sluggish at that point. 
but this amount of energy is quite plenty for now. However, if we upgrade our engines to some more powerful ones, ones which will also be more hungry, then uh, yeah, you'll want to upgrade your uh, battery capacity as well. I love how accurate you can be with flying in this game. It's, it's really nice and satisfying. Before they changed the flight model, it was a lot more difficult to land. Now I don't know if they made it more arcade. Oh, rough landing there. Now you gotta be you gotta be careful about that because that's not just oh it's a rough landing I should do better. No, it's, it'll actually put more wear and tear on your systems, and uh, you won't like it because you'll have repairs. All right, we gotta wait for this to get into our hold, and then we'll uh, bring the rations over to where they're needed. There we go. Well, where we can uh, sell them for most profit. Yeah, but I don't know. There was a button which you can press. Motions? Motions. That's motions mode. Okay. What's this? I don't know. Trade destination. I don't know. This ship might not have that option. No. Wait. Radar. Open map. Turn off AR mode. Whoa! Okay! Holy crew! Hey buddy, help me out! I've got a container in Nord. Oh. Okay. And now I cannot sell the goods. It has to be... What? What? Oh, service drones container. Okay, sorry, I didn't read that. Whoa! Okay! Fixed thrust. No. How do I... Radar. Turn on, off, our AR mode. Air view mode toggle. See, there's the wind. Oh, that's cool. But how do I do that without actually having that open all the time? Oh, <laughs> I love it! This is what I wanted to from the very get-go. I went on their forums and... Wait. Um, and I suggested that they add... Oh, see, now I cannot turn it off. And I suggested they add a mode like this. Uh, where you could see all the landscape for uh, bad weather conditions and such. Which would make a lot of sense in a you know in a ship like this. Oh, we're heavy. We're actually descending. <laughs> she wasn't too happy with him apparently. But there's a sample here. I cannot really get that one ton of cargo. I don't know how much that weighs. Uh, but yeah, you could you could hear the. I like the fact that there is actually voice acting in the game, like chatter between pilots. Uh, wait a second. Oh shoot. I'm bringing B2 rations to the wrong place. Oh well. See, I'm not thinking. I'm talking. Shoot! Full power! Full power! This is not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Ground effect helping me. Oh. Whew. That was uh, not good. This little ship is nice and agile, but it's not a very capable heavy transporter. And even one load, we're at half energy level, even one load means that it sometimes can struggle. However, we would have crashed there if it weren't for the lovely ground effect, which I believe is uh, modeled into the game, which means that when you're close to the ground, you actually have more thrust in a way. It's more effective, I should say. All right, let's see how much we can sell this for. Not much at all. That's uh, that's not good. I'm gonna sell it anyway. I'm stupid. All right, let's do that. Um, let's do that story mission. Service Jones container. So basically, what he said was that he has to get these registered, I believe, quickly. Uh, otherwise, they'll be useless or something like that. There's also wind, as you can see. Wind can have a pretty heavy effect on how you fly and how much fuel you use, or, well, energy. Now let's wait for the engines to stop. There we go. And now we can taxi. Because if you don't wait, you won't actually taxi. You'll be using the engines. There we go. Load the M3 and RO12. Container loading complete. Ah, I completely forgot. It's a hell of a heavy cargo, so be careful. Yeah, two tons. Where are we going? Uh, shoot. I 
forgot where he wanted to... No, I don't want... No! Oh, there. Okay, deliver container. We've got ten minutes left to declare those drones. Get them here to the spaceport. Okay, we've got two tons. Should be doing pretty good at the moment, actually, with two tons. Oh, I want to avoid those geysers and that smoke there. See, if I have too much forward thrust, I'm actually going to start losing altitude. See that? So I have to ease up on going forward and just use full throttle all the time to gain some uh, height. To all pilots, Cargo Space Wave CF-13 inbound for landing at the Aslan spaceport. Please keep your distance. I would love to do some voice acting for games. Man, you hear the music? Oh, look at that. There's a spaceship. That's... I believe that's an actual spaceship that goes between planets and stars. You see my thrust there? Uh, that... yellowish area is actually how much thrust I need to to uh, keep my altitude. If I go below that, I'm gonna be losing altitude. And if I go b above it, I will be able to gain altitude. But at the moment, of course, we are so heavy. Oh, come on. Damn. This thing is... Tension, deterioration of flight conditions. Strong northwest wind. There we go. No, no, no. Come on, shut off the engines. There you go. So now we can offload this. We have a bit of wear and tear. Thank you for the help. Here it is, your reward. <laughs> yeah, we have a bit of wear and tear on our uh, wings and flaps and engine as well. So we can go over to the hangar and repair, if need be. Right now, there's no traffic control. There's no other traffic, actually. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. You can just take off and land wherever you want. You know, I know this is if wishes were fishes. And it is a tiny team doing this. But I would love this to be multiplayer and actually have a player-controlled air traffic control. I know this is far too much of a niche game for that to ever happen at any scale. Or be worth the development time. But I don't know. Right, let's uh, repair everything, and uh, let's see. We can get these engines, which are 5,500. I love how did, they did this. It actually goes to the areas where it has to repair and repairs them. Uh, yeah, let's get bigger engines. And let's get the bigger batteries as well. We are pleased to announce new upgrades for your ship. You can buy them on the Cargo Spaceway Hangar. Price includes free installation by our qualified mechanics and we will offer a fair price for your old items. Alright. So I don't have to charge. Oh no, I do have to charge. That's so cool. And that, that music. That's so cool. Alright. You can see we've got pretty oversized engines now. We're still not a heavy hauler, but this will help a lot. And we have much more energy capacity, which will help. Thanks for your purchases. These new Mongoose engines produced by Paul Gears use additional hybrid deflectors, allowing you to transport almost twice as much. See you soon. Captain, we have an emergency here. Deliver the goods from the port to the Bora laboratory. Anything serious? Code Red announced in Aslan. These weird objects have popped up all over the island. Military aviation is on the way. Your job is to deliver equipment to the scientists. They have to figure out what it is. Okay. No! No! I didn't know! I... Ah! Oh, I pressed A. No, no, no. Leave me! No, I didn't want to go back in. <laughs> uh. Unfortunately, this game at the moment is not very well optimized still. So, uh... I do run it at reduced graphical settings. Now, I could run it at full graphical settings, but I'm the kind of weirdo that doesn't like to overwork his graphics card. So if I if I hear the fans spooling up, <laughs> uh, 
I uh, I reduce the graphical settings or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just weird. Never mind me. Um, do we have anything here we could take? There, so we don't go there empty. And yes, I could fly over there, but that will require me to spend like three credits in energy. And I'm too much of a cheapskate to do that. Actually, I will have to, because... Oh, you hear that? That was such a cool sound. And these, yeah, these are very powerful. Oops. Overshot it a little bit. It's okay. Love the sound effects. Alright. There we go. So what do they have? Goliath Droid Repair Kits. Where would this... Nord? Um... Yeah, that could work. Do they actually want them there? Goliath Droid... Yeah! We can sell it for pretty much twice as much. Let's try this, even though it is 2.61 tons, but that should be fine. However, this is a fragile cargo, and you might have noticed the G-meter on cargo, which means that if you do any... Cr really crazy maneuvers, or you get into really bad weather, it can actually damage or destroy your cargo. Oh yeah, wait a second. Let's uh, set this to nearest cargo. Uh, no, uh, most profitable. Yeah. Wait, what did it say? That is too heavy? Product is too heavy. Huh. Okay. Let's see. No! No, it's not. These engines are great. I still gotta be c careful, however. This is quite a heavy... Whoa! Yeah, you see that G-meter going up? That re If I hit that red part, it's gonna start deteriorating. Oh, my favorite track. It's so quiet. Also, using less thrust, you, of course, are more economical. So, uh, you can save up a little bit. Although, I find that energy really is so cheap. I don't know. You don't really have to be careful about economy. I'll, I'll get that sample down there at some point. I love how the engines all rotate and open up and this and that. It looks really cool. Oh yeah, I have to go over there and just... Gotta be really careful about those guys are full power. We're losing out. Come on. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Oh. oh, that's bad. That's bad. That is very bad. Oh. How did we not completely crash there? I have no idea. I have no bloody clue. I mean, completely crash. Is that even a thing? Whew. I'm forgetting we have... We're pretty much at the limit of what this thing can take. I suppose. Well, maybe not, but... Uh, certainly not as maneuverable. No idea how we didn't crash there. Right now, there's not really any huge ramifications for crashing. You do lose your cargo. But you don't lose any money because your ship is fully insured and you also don't die. Okay, see the ground effect now in, in effect. Which means that, whoa, come on. I have a lot more thrust when I'm near the ground. Or, well, it's more, far more effective. Ah. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Now. Uh, they need us there. So let's go over there. I don't think there's any passengers here. Man, that sound effect when you... When you start going is brilliant. Let's get some speed. 
And even though that's far more important on the big island, this is really just hopping around very, very short distances. See, I could almost... Oh, another sample. Let's go and get it. I could really use that uh, AR mode now. But getting it... Okay. No, come on. There. Yeah. That's fairly useful. But it's annoying that I have to go to a raider. Sometimes I really miss my fiance. Wish I can bring her with me. My sister had an engagement last month. It was a hell of a party. They've got bullets now. Walk together. Rock together. Okay. Let's uh, turn it off. Get that sample. Some kind of a sample of native flora, I guess. Looks more like an egg. Hey, I'm sure you know that similar biological samples are very in demand. The nearest research laboratory is at the Bora station. Is that here? No, Bora is over there. Darn it. Uh, Alright, I guess we go there then. <laughs> Two tons. Again, gotta be careful. Man, they need to do more of this Firefly esque music and make it louder. Gotta be careful about those mountains there, the tops. Yeah, before you could actually use, uh, you could see the wind situation without using the AR, AR mode because AR mode didn't really exist uh, but it was just a simple Y press I think it was Y no that's that locks the throttle I, I think it was a Y press wasn't it B doesn't do anything X doesn't do anything I don't know it's weird it's not nice having to go left with the deep pad into a radar and then press X to turn it off and on I suppose I don't know but you can see all the wind it's gonna push us to the left a little bit. Man, this game is amazing. It really needs more exposure. Come on, full power. Okay. We're at half energy. There's a passenger there as well, which is probably not gonna go to the place we wanna go next. But anyway, I hope you've really enjoyed this. Uh, if you're interested in games like these, I can only really truly recommend this because it is brilliant. I would recommend getting or having a controller to play this with. 2700, that's it? I mean, it's pure profit though because we just picked it up. Yeah, uh, definitely play it with a controller. It's far more easy. It's far easier and convenient. Uh, and apparently joysticks don't work that well. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.